Alright guys, how's it going? So today, I would like to show the split function in edit mode. Now, rather than just quickly going through it, I thought we'd kind of flesh it out and make it kind of nice. So we'll pretty much replicate this. So in traditional fashion, let's delete the default cube. And what I'll do here is I'll press Shift and A, and I'm going to add in a plane. I'll then tab into edit mode. I'll press 1 to select points, and I'm going to just select one point on the edge. I'll press delete, and what I'll do here is I'll dissolve the vertices. And that just kind of gives me a nice triangle. Now I'll press 2 to select edges and I'm going to select the long edge. And what I'll do is I'll press S to scale and on the numpad I'll type in 0 0.75. And I end up with a pretty nice triangle. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to quickly tab into edit mode. I'm going to go to the modifier options and I'm going to add in a subdivision surface. Now this might seem a little bit strange at the moment but you'll find out why in a second. So I'm going to put the levels up to 3 and 3 and I'm going to enable simple and if I press Z to go into wireframe and apply the mesh you can see here what I'm actually getting so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to decimate this now and this means I can kind of triangulate the mesh so I'll keep it on collapse and I'll put the ratio down and you can see here what it's doing so I just need to find somewhere that I think's a nice pattern so I'll go down yeah that's pretty cool so 0 0.115 that should be perfect I'll apply this modifier and I'll quickly tab back into edit mode Let's quickly go back into solid mode as well. Now, in order to show the split function, let me just press 3 to select a face. I'm going to select this face, and I'm just going to try and move it. And you'll notice that everything is technically connected. Now what I can do here is I can press A to select all of the mesh. I'll come up to the mesh options, and I'll go to split. And I'll split by faces by edges. Now watch this when I select the face. Now everything is technically disconnected. So I'll just quickly put them back into position. I'll press A to select all of the mesh. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to change the transform pivot point. Now if I press S to scale, you'll notice everything kind of scales uniformly. But if I come up here and I go to individual origins and I press S to scale, and I'll scale it in a little bit. We now have this kind of geometric shape. Pretty cool to be honest. What I'll do here is I'll go back into object mode. I'll press 7 on an numpad to go to top view. And I'm actually going to press Control Alt and Numpad 0, and that should set my camera. So I'm just going to quickly rotate the object so it sits nice and flush, and I would imagine it's probably 45 degrees. Let's check this out. Yeah, 45. And I'll just quickly position the camera. Now, generally, I'll just do something like this. And that looks pretty cool, to be honest. Now, obviously I need some sort of background, I'll be rendering an Eevee, so what I'll do here is I'll just quickly add in a mesh and I'll add in a plane. I'll just press S to scale this up. I'll go to 1 on the numpad and I'll just bring this down ever so slightly, just underneath. I'll quickly jump back into my camera view, I'll select the object and I'll assign a material. So I'll go to the material properties, I'll go to new, and I'll just make this pretty dark to be honest. Now I'll take the specular off because there'll be a light above and it'll be hitting off the light. Now you don't necessarily need to delete this light but I'm just going to just for the sake of it. So we'll delete the default light. <laughs> I'll jump into the shading tab. I'll go to world and what I'll do here is I'll just put the offset of the colour up a little bit. And we'll leave the background strength at 1. So we can jump back into layout. We can go to our camera view and I'll just hit F12 just to get a quick render. And that's looking pretty cool to be honest. Now the background technically doesn't have a material applied. So I'll select that, I'll go to new, and I'll just drop down the base colour. And again, I'll drop down the specular so we're getting no kind of light kicking off. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to quickly add in text. So I'll go to add, I'll go to text, I'll tab to go into edit mode, and let's just call this the split tutorial. And what I can do here is I can go to the object data properties for the text, I can change the font. Now I've downloaded a font from Da Font. I'll just use this one, looks pretty cool. Um, and I'm pretty much happy with this. Now I'm not going to extrude it or anything like this. What I'll do is I'll quickly jump back into object mode. I'll press S to scale it. And what I can do here is I can go to object, set origin, geometry to the origin. And that'll put a bang in the middle for me. And I'll just move it right down here. I'll select the geometric object. I'll come to its material properties. I'll copy the material. I'll then select the text. I'll go to new and I'll just paste in the material and I'll hit F12 and let's see what we get. And there you go, that's pretty much the split tutorial. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, support me on Gumroad, you know what to do. Take care.